Okay, let's talk about box fill as far as electrical wiring for your resident residential electrical wiring. Okay, so to determine how many wires can go into a box, you have to add up whatever has to go in there. Um, each box has two different ways of identifying it. If you look in the bottom of a plastic box, at the bottom it says that, for example, this brown box, it can have eight twelves, or the equivalent is 300, and, oh, excuse me, 20 cubic inches. So it has 20 cubic inches of space, or it has, you can figure it using uh, eight twelves, okay? So, let's give an example of a box and then we can determine what size of a box you would need, okay? So here's a standard single gang box with a 12-2 power in 12-2 power out, then it has a 12-3 traveler, so we're going to put a three-way switch in here, an S3. Okay, so how big of a box do we need to for these wires to fit into it? Alright, so we can do either method. We can use the, the number method or we can use the cubic inch method. So the number method is you count one for each of your wires, uh, you get one for up to four grounds, you get two for the device, and one if it has any type of internal clamps. So let's look at wires. How many wires do we have? All you have to do is count these wires right here. You got three, four, five, six, seven. So we mark that as seven wires. Now we count the grounds, okay, up to four. So there's one ground, two, three grounds, but up to four I'm going to count one. So I got one. Uh, devices, we're going to put one three-way switch in there, so that counts as two. Now clamps, there's two types of clamps. There's an integral clamp and there's an interior clamp. The integral clamps are the ones on this round box. All you have to do is push them with your screwdriver and shove the wire in there and they hold them in place. Okay, that's an integral clamp. And the other one is an interior clamp. Like this metal box has got these metal clamps top and bottom. So you take out the knockout, fish your wire through there, screw down this, and it tightens the box or the wire in the box. Okay, integral clamp type clamps are not counted. Interior clamps are counted. So a single gang box single gang box does not have any clamps on it. All they have is these knockouts. So they don't count for integral or interior type boxes. Okay? So in this case we have zero. So if I add this up, I got seven, eight, nine, 10, 12s. Okay, so this box says that I can have eight 12s. So this box isn't big enough. It's not deep enough. Now the good thing about these single gang boxes is they come in three different sizes. You can get an 18, a 20, or a 23 cubic inch box. So if I get the biggest box out to the 23 cubic inches, it will probably fit this 18 or this 812. So we can figure it out using the cubic inch method. So all we'd have to do then is take number this times 2.25 because 12 gauge wire is considered one 12 gauge wire is considered 2.25 cubic inches. So, if I multiply these two numbers, 7 times 2.25, I get 
15.75 cubic inches. Then the grounds I would count as one, so I get 2.25, and then the device would be two, so that would be 4.5. If I add them all up, uh, 15, 12, 22, 22.5 cubic inches. So in order for this to this setup to work, I would have to get the largest 23 cubic inch box in order to run this wiring setup for a three-way switch.